Alright, hello and welcome to another video and today, as I've promised you in the last video, I'm going to show you guys a guide on how to buy premium weapons. Of course, I'm not going to show you guys how you have to go to the store and buy a weapon for a 1k coin, so 100,000 honor points. No, um, this guide is mainly aiming for free players who do not know what premiums to buy, how they have to proceed um, when forming their strategy about what premiums to buy, how they have to form their loadouts, etc etc what they have to do with their coins and honor points so um, let's start with this guide so um, first I want to differentiate between free players so basically the players who don't put any cash into the game so real life money and then low cash players so people who do occasionally buy coins of the store and um, people who spend lots of cash um, on the game so well, basically, they, who regularly buy coins. So, um, the first, well, the, the guides for the people who have lots of cash and also the guide, guides for people who have um, just not a lot of cash uh, to their disposal, they are kind of building up on the guide for free players. So, um, yeah, I will not explain every single thing again. Uh, so make sure, sure you stay here from the very beginning. Now, of course, I want to start out with free players because for free players, it is the most important that they spend their honor points and also coins efficiently. Um, so basically, you have the only option you have as a free player in Recrucible Firestorm is to save stuff, save coins, save as many of them as possible, or save honor points. And um, well, in this case. If you want to save up um, coins for a premium gun, so if you want to save up 1k coins for a premium gun that you can buy off the store, I don't think that's a good way to get yourself a premium gun because, um, as some of you might know, you always get uh, logging rewards and every seventh day you get coins as a logging reward and if we assume that you average 20 coins per week, which is even a little bit higher than I would say is average but yeah um, so if you if you really do average 20 coins which is probably not even the case um, it probably takes you around a year uh, to gather 1k coins which literally takes ages and um, well a week has uh, a year has two, 52 weeks and then times 20 that's like 1040 coins per year which is not much so I wouldn't really recommend to save coins, but what you have to do with your coins as a free player, a free player is go for war chests. Um, well, I can only say I opened uh, well the last five from the last five war chests I opened I got four premium guns, and um, that's that's like an incredible rate. So instead of buying one one premium with 1k coins I got five four premiums for 500 coins which is certainly a better ratio some of you might know or might say well that's just a gamble but <laughs> that's just the way it works um, you might be, be lucky you might not but I think in my opinion that's really worth it now you might think how do you buy normal premiums then well this is just by saving up honor points that's <laughs> as easy as it sounds and with the 100 points you really have to be cautious because there you only have a limited amount. Uh, same goes for coins by the way and this is exactly the reason why you exactly need to know what premiums you need to buy. Because if you bought a premium it will take you a couple of months until you can buy the next one. And if you made a mistake this is just absolutely devastating. So what is the first premium that you want to buy? The first premium that you want to buy is like an overall weapon which you can use in simply every map in every situation. Oh, well, I, I'm always gonna differentiate differentiate between vehicle and infantry matches because those are fundamentally different. But I'm just gonna um, show you guys what guns you have to buy for infantry matches and not vehicle matches because I'm not too much into vehicle matches and therefore I can't really, you know, give you a good guide on that. So for infantry matches, what is a good gun? What is a solid gun which you can use on every single map? The Grosser M. 
And the Grosser Arm is really the weapon that I would recommend everyone to get first. Because basically you can use it in Redon because it's good for high range. You can use it in Frankfurt obviously. Um, you can also use it in Favela because it's not even that bad for close range. And you can use it in Kiev as well. And you will always do well. Um, so that's like the first gun you want to get. Now the second gun, what is the second gun you want to have? Um, if you have your primary now, the recommendation for you I want to give you is go for a complete loadout. Um, you don't necessarily need to buy yourself a melee because melees are actually quite unnecessary um, regarding the fact that like a premium tomahawk has the same stats as a bronze class shovel and um, yeah so you can just simply go for a shovel or a machete depending on what you like more but those have like well, perfectly acceptable stats and um, yeah that's like the melees you want to get and then of course also because you want to have a complete loadout get yourself a secondary which should, yeah should be a good one I know this there's a shit ton of good secondary SMGs Banshee, Venom or the stuff you can get from watches as well like the Dracula or also the Kachka um, those are all fine so make sure you have a complete loadout first and then um, when you once you have your first loadout you need to uh, well you need to go ahead and buy some more weapons of course if you want to get more of them um, and what are the next weapons that you want to buy the ne next weapons you want to buy are weapons that are fundamentally different from the Grosser M. Uh, so there are different types of weapons and the Grosser M is the type of weapon that has a low fire rate, high accuracy, high range and also a uh, very low recoil. So you want to have a fundamentally different weapon like, I don't know, the Nikita, the Vortex, there's, there's a lot, a shit ton of stuff that is different. You can also go for a support weapon, Painkiller, Sweet 16, um, yeah. But here, just make sure that if you prefer a certain map, so let's say if you prefer Favela, Favela is more close combat map, make sure you go for something with high damage output. You can even go for a shotgun, go for the Devastator, Sega, Sweet 16, um, you can even go for the Scar, for the PMC bundle, it's all fine. Um, and yeah, that's that's like what you want to get. And then, when you want to get additional premiums, always make sure that you first have like one premium of every single one of those classes. So that you have like the Nakita with a very high fire rate and high recoil, that you have the Sweet 16 for, ex for instance like with a high recoil and very high damage output. Um, you have the Vortex with a high fire rate and normal damage output. So yeah, you have different kinds of weapons first. Um, the, the, the thing is that if you have the Grosser M, that you don't buy the G36RC as a next premium for instance, because those are basically the same weapons. And you don't want, if you want a premium, you want to have something for a different situation. You no, don't want to have the same premium twice. Then also, going, speaking of bundles and stuff, I wouldn't go for bundles as a free-to-play free player because bundles are always a little bit tricky. You pay, let's take the Assassin's Bundle as an example. You pay 3k point, coins or 300k honor points for the Assassin Bundle and what you get is a melee, which is not that significant, and dra the Dragon 18G, which is a crappy secondary. So you pay 3k coins for nothing or 300k honor points. That's just a waste. So don't go for bundles. Um, and yeah, those are always a little bit tricky. Then um, concerning bargain ballistics, bargain ballistics are also a very nice option. I would always recommend you that if you want to buy a next weapon or if you have to grow the M, so as your first pr premium, wait for a bargain ballistics because then you can save 20k on the points and you can get those premium guns at a much higher pace. Now let's get into the guide for low cash players. For low cash players the guide is very similar, um, obviously because you don't have a, a really a lot of cash at your disposal. But here once again it is important what you do with your coins because you don't have infinite amounts of cash. But the principle is the same as the one for non-cash players. 
the, the only thing that's different here is the way you want to spend your honor points. You really here want to spend your honor points on the PMC bundle because it is 100k honor points. So you spend 100k honor points, you get the tomahawk and the skull, which is quite nice. And um, uh, if you would buy this with coins, it is 3k, which is three times the price than if you would buy it for honor points, which is just a ripoff, if you ask me. <laughs> um, so yeah, just make sure you don't buy that with coins, that's just a waste. Um, also, also um, here I would not really recommend you to go for war chests because in this case it is really a gamble and if you don't have infinite amount of coins it can really be a waste. Um, it is really only for free to play players because they really have almost no coin, coin income at all. So yeah, not recommendable for low cash players but really recommendable for free to play players. Now we're gonna get over to um, the people who have lots of cash at their disposal. For them the guide is entirely different. Um, of course the principle once again stays the same. But here of course because you have lots of monies you can also go ahead and buy bundles and you can also go ahead and spend a lot of lots of money on war chests. Um, because <laughs> I, I always assume that if you have lots of cash at your disposal you can basically any afford every premium you want. So what you want to do is go for war chests, maybe you can maybe even get a platinum weapon out of there which is like one of the biggest accomplishments you can have in the game, having a platinum weapon, which is like the second highest class of weapons after the legendary weapons. Once again, what should you do with your honor points? First of all, spend it on the PMC silver. Um, because once again, I wouldn't really go for, um, or I wouldn't really buy that for coins because once again, even here it's a waste. To buy three times the price, to pay three times the price, it would usually be. And um, furthermore, what you should do with your honor points, go for legendaries. <laughs> you, trust me, you should never buy legendary chests with coins because 50 coins for a legendary chest that will equal 5k honor points per chest, which is 10 times the price you would pay for honor points. And once again, um, paying like 10 times the usual price, that's just a ripoff, believe me. So, <laughs> really, for me, the legendary, legendary weapons are probably the biggest accomplishment in the game because they're ultra rare. And so, yeah, that's like, that's like everything you can't really buy with coins, so go for it with honor points. And that's what I do. I have all the legendary guns, I don't have the, the legendary tank yet. But um, that's of course kind of follow. Uh, so yeah, that was my guide for you guys on how to buy premiums. If you still have any questions, um, just make sure to message me. Um, and um, yeah, for what I can also recommend for you, those people who are not sure on what premiums they have to buy, um, if the premiums they want to buy, that are, if they are good, so if you maybe if you're maybe in trouble with you want to buy the Vortex G or the Wasp G, just ask other players who have those weapons, or just have a look at YouTube videos. You can get a very good impression of that of those guns when you just have a look at videos. And something I would always recommend. Don't just blindly go ahead and buy a weapon because you see, well, there's a new weapon in the store. Let's go ahead and buy it, even if you don't know what the or how the weapon works. So that's not something I could not recommend for you. And um, yeah, so that was it. Thanks a lot for you guys for watching. Um, well, just make sure to follow my channel for more exciting stuff like a new um, RCF edit music video. Um, and also a channel highlights video which is going to follow soon and of course also um, a few more chest openings that are, come out, are going to come up um, like the, the face smashers chest and also a few more platinum chests like the batchers and stuff so yeah that's that's all thanks a lot guys for watching see you guys in the next video bye